Hi, my name is Lucy, and I'm a web design and development instructor at IADT. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to create a mock-up using the wireframes we developed in the previous video. I'll also go over the purpose of a mock-up, what tools you should use, and what a finished mock-up should look like. At this point, you should have a set of completed wireframes. While the wireframe's goal is to plan a page's layout, the goal of the mock-up is to capture the visual design of the page. It should include the page content as well as the components of the layout, address the functional requirements, depict the user experience, and be as realistic as possible. Now with this example, I have the home page filled in. And um, you know, when, you, when you go to work on your mock-ups, you want to make sure that you incorporate any imagery that uh, will be incorporated on the site your copy, logos, color scheme, and any m multimedia placeholders such as flash movies or slideshows, things like that. Also, the mockup is only a static image. You will later use the mockup to develop templates that will show the functionality of the website. To start creating your mockup, first choose a tool you want to use. Some commonly used programs include Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, or other web-based applications. I'll show you how to create your mockup using Photoshop. Now with this example, I went ahead and I put in the Petit Déjeuner logo. I filled in color schemes for the background. Also, I put in a design for the main navigation. And down here I have some more, some extra menu options. You'll probably recognize the, these words from the idea box and the flow chart. I do not have actual copy, so for right now I just put in some lorem ipsum text. But you want to try to get the real copy as soon as possible, just so you know how much space will actually be taken up on the page. Also, I made a little graphic and I added another image. So it's just, this is making the site look realistic. It's, it's not the actual site, of course. You just, it's just more of a, a flat image representation of what it will actually look like. Um, also, up in the corner, you can see that I laid out where my customers will log in and check their shopping cart. And also down here, we have some social media links for Facebook and Twitter. Now for the interior page, you'll probably also recognize the design from the wireframe. I put in the logo at the top. I kept the navigation up here on the side. I moved up the main navigation up here, just underneath the logo. And then I have the three picture, uh, pictures filled in. Here's some text that goes along with the pictures. Down here, I kept the same navigation options along with the social media links. And then on the right side, this is where I filled in some extra text and another uh, delicious looking picture. And you wanna, like I was saying, you wanna make these mockups as comprehensive as possible because you wanna kind of predict what kind of functionality you will be developing. The time it takes to develop mockups depends on the complexity of the site. Once the final mockup has been reviewed for accuracy, you'll be ready to prepare your images using Photoshop. Thank you for joining me. In the next video, we'll talk about how to prepare your images for the web.